the car is packed. Let's go, I'll see you down there. Morning to you all and welcome to um, Shoreham. We had to come to Shoreham today because, yeah, it's windy again. And then the weekend's going to be vile. So we're down here on Friday, really big tide. It rips around the end of the wall. Rob's already um, chucked his bucket in. The tide's taken it, has ripped it out of his hands. And he's trying to catch it, but it's going out to France. So, what am I going to use today? Well, I have fashioned myself some rigs. Rob has been taking the mickey. It's Pride tomorrow, and he says that I have rigs to match the Pride Festival tomorrow. But in very simple terms, two up, longish traces, small hooks, ragworm tipped off with squid. Then I've got a bottom hook, um, slightly larger, probably of size three. Um, 3.0 thereabouts with a fresh prawn just whipped onto the end. This I've got Sheppy rig on, um, longish traces, bit of bling, small hooks again, ragworm and squid and I've got some black lag as well. So I'm going to bosh these out, I'm going to stick one out here and one out this side because two rods out here are going to get knitting. And we don't really want that, do we? So let's get fishing. You will have probably noticed that my reels have changed. I've got rid of the abus. The abus I was using, I had braid on. They haven't got any uh, mags on them because they're really, really old. And I learned a lesson with braid. Last time I was down here, casting out here, the wind rips the line off and it gets this big bow, but the barrel's still spinning. And... Um, so the line slows, but the barrel's still going really quick and it just kept fluffing up and it was really, really knacking me off. So on the advice of um, Rob and Martin, I've sold the Akios reels. I have myself some Pen 525s. I've loaded them up with 15 pound mono and a 60 pound shock leader. I've cranked the, uh, the mags right down. So I'm just gonna have a little gentle play with them and see how I get on and then slowly crank the mag out as I go on but to look at them really good how they work I don't know but looking at reviews um, they get pretty positive reviews so um, let's right, chuck them first out. First cast maiden cast with the new reel let's not chuck it out too far and see how we get on goodness Oh, that was pretty smooth. And then this one, we're gonna just chuck out over here. Oh, bloody hell, that goes. A few of you out there have said I haven't been smiling an awful lot of late. Well, the last couple of months, which I have alluded to, haven't been a jolly journey. Um, in very simple terms, and it's not something men like talking about. And I did ask a few people and asked whether I should mention it or not. But their view was I should mention it because if it maybe saves somebody or catches somebody earlier, um, it's a good thing. But in essence, I've got um, or been diagnosed with cancer of the prostate. It's contained. And it was very random. I don't go to the doctors, I'm very fit, I had no um, symptoms, no pains, no nothing, but randomly I had a blood test on the advice of somebody and my PSA was elevated and that started the whole chain reaction of all the unpleasant stuff that you go through and the journey that's then ahead of you. Um, it won't hopefully impact on my life too much and you've got to kind of stay positive. A few people I know who've got it, some are further ahead, some are cured, um, but the thing for me was it was contained and it was caught early. And there's a few of you out there in my sort of age, if you hadn't had a, a blood test, maybe it's a good idea to have one. And if I help somebody out there, I've done what um, I need to do. So we're not going to talk about it anymore. I don't want loads of um, um, sympathy. I've just got to crack on and deal with it. And it's part of getting older, I suppose. If it wasn't this, it'd be something else. But I don't intend to keel over just yet. And there is a placard up there to somebody who has keeled over who was a little bit younger than me. And I don't want to be a placard on this wall for quite a few years yet. 
So we're going to move on from that. We're going to have a nice day fishing with um, some friends of mine. So how do you feel about losing your bucket? Upset. It's, Why? It's an old friend. I've, I've probably <laughs> had that for 20 years. Well, yeah. a, man, a man of your age is going to have to get used to losing old friends. I know, yes. Well, yeah. Yes, I've and already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, now Rob's cheered me up. Um, I, I'm going to go back and uh, stand with Andy. Cause Young Dave has come down, crunched between Andy and me and nicked our spot and has caught a fish. <laughs> Not on. Right, you, you, you can go now Dave. Um, we'll, uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. This is the, as I have mentioned a few times, the fisho unhooking. You know that Dave's because of it's like, well, that's it. Method. Oh, that's right. Grab the line, pull it back through, hook it over your thumb, see where the shank of the hook is, which is there, catch the point, well and there yeah, the hook well comes out. Well, hey! Yeah, then rest him in the bucket for a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick him in the bucket, let him recover. And then chuck him out. Evil, Evil Knievel has arrived. That, that's it, there we go. <laughs> yeah, whee! <laughs> oh no, it's caught on the strap. Your wheel's caught on the strap. Strap down here. There we go. Right, hey, Rob. <laughs> you don't want me to date him. I'll go home. Yeah, I'll yeah, home. yeah. <laughs> That's embarrassing. It's not. It's a fish. If I go in here, it will be a fish one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you hide your hands, it'll look really big. It's all about perspective. But it's hard yeah. to hide. Yeah. There we go. Look yeah. the size of that. Yeah. Goodness. Dave is telling me he has a big place. Mm, I think artistic license. Artistic license. But it's a fish, and he's beaten me. So I'm well impressed with these reels. The rate of retrieve is extraordinary compared to the uh, abus that I had. I'm well chuffed with these so far. Cast really well. Yes. Surprisingly for me, it's a fish. Um, neatly hooked. I'm being told to look after my rod because a few people have commented that um, I, uh, I'm not very good with when I put it on the ground. Just like that. Pop him in the bucket, let him get his breath and then we drop him just the other side back out for another day so we do the uh, fish o method where we pull the line back through here pull the hook which then bends the other way catch the hook which is here and uh, push it back out jobs are good one. but you've got to be careful you go at the top of the gill cover if you look through here there's a like a plate which has got little spikes on it between the top bit here of the place and then where the gills are you don't go through where the gills are because that will um, upset them right, I'll chuck this in the bucket and let it recover the, the thing I really wanted to mention which I um, I'm just getting round to is that Rob goes to special shops and he goes into the shop and he goes, do you sell trousers with 20 zips on? And they go, no, sir. So he goes into the next shop and he goes, have you got a pair of trousers with some zips on? And you, you found a shop that sells them. You, you are the zip king. Do you want to just show us the zips again? Just a quick look at those. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Rob has been learning from Martin how to build the uh, what, 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 
what's the word we'd use? The anticipation. Well, I think that pips the one I caught. Size. How big is that? 34 centimetres. 34 centimetres. Right. Nice and plump. Yeah, nice little fat one. Nice and healthy. Bit like you. So I have grand rod envy for these. Turn it round. Century Excalibur J curve. And as well, they would match the nice new rail spot. Blue. Well, they would. It's exactly the same blue. But I mean, you know, when you look at a rod that's well made, huh? and these are extraordinarily well made these are the kind of the top of the the rod zone aren't they um very envious fellow and how tippy are they tippy enough tippy enough to register a bite yeah but not too tippy that they fold right so they're what did you say this was this surface they're like really rough unground unground and then they're really smooth down here yeah. They rubberized at the spigot ends. You've got movable reel seats. Um, Dave's going to, next time he comes out, match them with, what are you going to use? Daiwa Millionaires? Seven, yeah, 7HT seven Blues. Right. Blue, blue seven but I'm very envious. So if my wife is watching, I would like some of these. You, you could buy a car for the cost of these. <laughs> He's laughing, but it's true. <laughs> it's like, and then we look at the budget end of the marketplace. <laughs> what do they say? These are under... What's the word I'm looking for? What's that word? Give me a word that... No, not underpriced. Under... They're not showing off. Understated. Understated. They're the words. Whereas these... Are just, are just leery, leery and cheap. Maybe <laughs> a floppy, a steady on. <laughs> They're not floppy. Oh, <laughs> These are not floppy. They're very firm rods. Rob is still hauling fish in. How many is that now, Rob? Eight. Eight. Right. Something on here, but oh, another little fish. Right. Keith has been here since. What time did you get here, uh, Keith? Half past nine. Half nine. What's the time now? Ah, oh. it is three o'clock. There we go. And he's finally caught himself a place. Not bad little place, I have to say. Nice and chubby. Oh, chubby little fella. Yeah, chubster. Well done. So we're going to do with some surgery now. Surgery? Yeah, because he's... he's uh, oh, well, Rob's your man. Rob's the man. Rob's coming in your ankle. Yeah. Who Although... What you got on there? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Mm, well done. <laughs> we have idiots in a dinghy. So there is always an idiot of the week. So these idiots have been drifting around until the... Uh, Coast Guard has shouted at him over there because if you look over there there is a mahusif boat coming out so they just ignored him even though he's going get over to the side what idiots well we've all given it a really good crack today all of us have had fish um, it's six we were down here at 7 30 tied in tied back out gonna go home so I'm not fishing next weekend but I will be fishing weather allowing following weekend and I'll catch up with all of you then but I caught some fish that's two times in a row and uh, would have been nice to caught something else chap lost a big ray um, Keith lost a big ray I just caught place but a fish is a fish. So I'll see you on the next one. Look after yourself. This is Keith's enemy shingle on this concrete road. 
with little hard tyres on his mobility scooter. Bless him. <laughs> what a clever idea, get him down here. 